external consciousness as a male devotee of Shiman Mahaprabhu. Glorifying the greatness of Sri Raja's foot dust. One may ask whether the word <coughs> Purusha <coughs> in, the, in the verse does not refer to Krishna's Purusha avatar, <coughs> Mahavishnu. But the answer to this is that pure love of Govinda in the mood of Raj is only attainable on the strength of Sri Radha's foot dust. This is this is so significant. Mm. And just reminding us that that the attention, our attention, our remembering is is focused squarely on Shiradika, not just on Shiradika, but on her foot dust. So, from a very humble position, and there is one more thing we we have to see here. Then, pure love of Govinda in the mood of Raja is only attainable. <clears throat> on the strength of Sri Rata's foot dust. So, that uh, Purusha, that Mahavishnu, is different to Govinda. To attain Govinda in the mood of Raja, we can only get by taking shelter of Radhika's foot dust. There is what Gurudev explained. There is this controller mood and the difference to that is that of the, what is it, Summum Bonum. So, the sweetness of Vrindavan is based on the feelings of Sri Radhika. So, I understand this, what you just read here. Hmm. Pure love of Govinda hmm. is attainable by taking shelter on the foot dust of Sri Radhika. Hmm. The pure love of Govinda, this is this is Prem. This is love for Krishna, the highest goal of life in Vaishnavism. And attaining that is only possible through Radha. Yes, I mean, Vraj, uh, Govinda of Raj is, is Radhika's Krishna only. I mean, it's <clears throat> yeah, no, 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 no. so we can only we can only see and appreciate and worship and glorify Krishna only through the lens of Radhika's Kaladini Shakti. This is this is absolutely unequivocally categorically understood from this. Otherwise we worship Narayan. And because he is a controller, 
we will also get this mood by worshiping without Radhika. We will also try to be the controller and not the servant. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the difference. Narayan is not this sweet Govinda. He is a, a complete different in the mood. There is some reverence and all this, what we heard about. But Govinda is complete different because of Sri Radhika. Mm. What is also interesting here in that, that he cannot be easily seen even by the greatest devotees. So there must be a difference in the explanation of devotee. The Supreme Person It's not easy to see even by the greatest devotees like Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Shukadeva Muni, Narada Muni and Bhishma. Yeah, I have a question. So is this referring to uh, Raj Krishna, Govinda, or is this referring to the uh, the controller Krishna in uh, in Kurukshetra, Dvaraka and, and other, other um, pastimes? Supreme person. Mm. So supreme, that is uh, this uh, Tvaraka mood. Yeah. yeah. Supreme personality of Godhead, we say. So, and even this supreme person is not easy to attain. Mm. What to speak about Govinda? Yeah. And because his devotees, for the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, like Brahma, Lord Shiva, Shukadeva Muni, Narada Muni and Bhishma, they are on a different level than those devotees in Vrindavan. They serve actually Lord Narayan. And they have a job also to do in the material uh, creation. Brahma, Shiva, Shukla, Narada, and Bhishma. They have uh, actually, they have a job, a position in the material. Mm -hmm. I mean, Vishnu Loka is also actually out of material world. Material to understand the difference between Vaikuntha and uh, Vrindavan, Goloka. And Brahma is uh, in this um, material world, he is the creator. Lord Shiva is destroyer. Lord Vishnu is the, what heißt the Erhalter? Maintainer. Maintainer. Yes. <clears throat> so they will not leave their position. And in this case, we can say that they are devotees of the Supreme Lord because they are devoted. Devotee means they do, they serving, but not on that level of Raja. They are serving on that level 
on a different level, not this sweetness, but the supreme person. But because we are in Braja, first of all is always our Radhika. She makes the supreme person the sweet Govinda. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In the Brahma Samhita, Krishna is also called Adi Purusha or, or Parama Purusha. Shriha Kantaha Kantaha Parama Purusha. In connection with his love alliances with the gopis. So I read again. In the Brahma Samhita, Krishna is also called Adi Purusha or Parama Purusha. Shriya Kantaha Kantaha Parama Purusha. In connection with his love alliances with the gopis. So we see even in this Raj mood, he's still referred to as this Parama Purusha, the Supreme Person. But we know that this Supreme Person from the verse is subdued by Sri Radhika's love, her loving energy. But he still remains the Supreme Person. So that sounds a little contradictory, but can he be both at once? That's the question. <laughs> There's one last very sweet detail in the verse, which will make us smile. This word um, Vashikarana, which Ananda Das translates as power, controlling, means both controlling and attracting, or controlling through attracting. So the power that she has, the unlimited power, is from being attractive from being irresistible. Yeah, and it's funny here because I think there's a typo, right? <laughs> because it says, churnam powder, powder, <laughs> like foot dust, you know? It's, 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 it's a little bit ironic, a little bit funny. I, I mean, it's, it's power, right? Because in the translation of the verse, it says, unlimited power, right? Vashikarana. No, no, that's right. That's the foot dust. That's foot dust, Chernam. But why it says in the I remember the foot dust. So it says controlling foot dust. Controlling foot dust. And then later, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Later is Shakti power. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the foot dust is both, you know, bewitching and attracting and controlling. All in one. That's what's so sweet about it, I think. That it controls us because we we cannot resist it. And that's exactly what Govinda experiences. He becomes controlled by Radhika because he's he finds her irresistibly desirable. You are my Radhika say. Others say I am yours, but Radhika say you are my my Moha.
Krishna's <clears throat> Krishna's childhood pastimes were still slightly perceived by Brahma, Shiva, and Narada. His childhood pastimes were still sli slightly, slightly perceived by Brahma, Shiva, and Narada. But his romantic pastimes in adolescence were not seen by them, nor by anyone else who identifies himself with his male body. Wow. Yeah. We remember that Brahma stole the cowherd boys. Mm. Indra also he make uh, he also like to test who is this Krishna, and uh, then he sent this heavy rain clouds to Vrindavan, and in that case the Govardhan Lila took place, right? Mm. Wasn't. Mohan's childhood. But uh, not one of them could see the Kunja. Takis also see the Kunja. Gopis. But mm. this exclusive service in the Kunja to the divine couple is only for the Majoris. For whom? Yeah. Manjaris. Manjaris. Yeah. Also for the Gopis. No, service to the divine couple is exclusively for the Manjaris. In the Nikunja. In Nikunja. They can, gopis cannot see. In the Kunja, right, right. I'm sorry. Okay. So, because they have own interest on Moha, so they are not completely loyal to Sri Radhika because they have maybe, they prefer, they love Krishna more. Mm -hmm. Sakis love Mohan and Radhika, mm -hmm. but Manjaris always love Radhika more. Mm -hmm. So they have the, what is it, Radhika's, uh, I don't know in English. You follow um Ultra. Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> they can come and go. They are yeah. So Radhika can fully trust them. Yeah, and after. Do you have a Manjari uh, translator at your lotus feet, uh, Gaurasundra? My God, yeah, I have to use them more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I agree. The most intimate uh, pastimes in the Nikunj only Manjaris have access. True, I think here perhaps. <clears throat> when he says his romantic pastimes in adolescence, I think it's generally speaking about not not just exclusively in the Nikunj. I think it's referring more generally to to his his uh, Ashtakalita pastimes in and around the Kund. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see that the the Sakis 
this picture of uh, Anandadas Babaji Ashram, what is uh, up to uh, Gurudev's bed, there we yeah. can see the, the scene. There are the the Sakis are in in the Radhakun together with uh, with Radhika. So they are also uh, um, what to say? They are in this uh, lila. They are uh, they feel uh, on the same level then with Radhika, <laughs> but Manjaris are outside. Yeah, yeah. No, they, um, only watching. I want to have Mahatma show that picture so we all have some some visual. Uh -huh, yeah, yes. Mahatma, can you just put the camera towards that uh, picture of uh, Radhakund with uh, Radharani Sakis and the Majaris in the in the background? So we because we're talking about it, we just like to have a reference if possible. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, then we can enlarge it here. Yeah. Let's put that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there. Wow. Yeah, now we can you That's see. Cool. Sakis in, are inside the water and outside Manjari is watching mm -hmm. and waiting for what to do, uh, what service is needed mm -hmm. at the next step. And they are fully focused on Radhika. I mean, the point here is only in the female body, right? Can we? enter into this this is the general yes this is general uh meaning yeah. this is the one point that uh, sakis and gopis they are doer yeah the are viewer. they yeah. are not interested in doing and uh, the pastime mm. they don't involve in the pastime they are only serving to Radhika. Why? Because the Mandri bring the very thin cloth. Mm -hmm. They know that this day, today, there will be, will be fight, water fight, that who will win, they, they have to kiss. So right. they know this. Because they know what Radhika knows. And Radhika also knows, but she don't know what to do, and Manjari know what to do. How much seva is required now? Because Radhika always winning, today she has to lose the game. Because she cannot kiss to Krishna in the front of everyone. So, they do the, you see the, in this rain, uh, water game, Krishna is throwing water in the eyes of Radhika, but Radhika is not throwing in the eyes of Krishna. One thing, and gopis also follow that way. So Krishna can see Radhika very clearly. And he become very excited and mad to kiss Radhika. And that Krishna is kissing or Radhika is kissing, but Krishna has to win today. The Manjari knows this. And Manjaris are watching this pastime. So we are viewer. As a Manjari, we, we are the viewer in the pastime. But we are always in the service of Radhika. This is Manjari Bhav. Yeah. You see, Adi Leela for Canto, viewer are more important than doer. If I am not fixed my viewer consciousness, then I cannot see who is the doing. There we see material doing work, 
people. We see material world because of our nature to view others. And doer nature is also there. So view to others and do it ourselves. But Manjari is just reverse, viewing to the past time. Of Radha Krishna, that is one pointed because of Radha Dasi. She is always watchful for Radhika, how to make happy to her and how to happy to Radhika's Mohan. That's the beauty. This is Manjari Bhav. It was never before Mahaprabhu. So Adi Lila Four Canto, first is the Istadev. Mm -hmm. Second is your Sarup. Mm -hmm. What is Prabhupada is writing. That is the Sarup Avesh that you have in your constitutional position you are watching and third is the past time viewing how they view it so first second third this way moving first to fix his step second to fix my saru third to fix what is happening in their past time divine past time and for that Krishna was foreigner because he was doer. And Krishna become Manjari. Mahaprabhu is Krishna, Radha and Manjari. So he, this Leela is happening in Chaitanya. In consciousness happening this. This time Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu Chaitanya become doer, viewer, and relisher of the Manjari Bhav. So, Ishta Nishtha, Sarup Nishtha, and Lina Darshan. Yes. Three reasons of appearance of Chaitanya. That is the meaning. The viewer is more important than doer. I cannot see the doer. He is always near to us, but we cannot see without viewer. So, it's like Ishtanista is important. Similarly, when we practice Manjari Bhav, first we practice our Sarupavish, then Guru Sarupavish, then his Guru Sarupavish. Why? Because my Sarupavis is the base to move me in the spiritual world. Why not we worship? First we meditate in Gurudev, meditate Sarupavis. No. I meditate in my Sarupavis and I have to live in my Sarupavis to view all the lusts, all happening in, nearby to me. When you stay in Sarupavis, then material world is not touching us. What is my realization? When you come to the material body consciousness, then material effects are affecting us. So what is the beauty? East Nista is important for Sarupavis, and Sarup is important. Yes, is clear. Uh, yes, I have a question. Um, so, when you speak of um, doer, this is in Sadaka Deha. You mean the doing that we that we want to get? We out want of. to do, na? Sadak Deha. We want to do. And see that they have, we have to be viewer. But and like, we have to do for my Swami only. Uh -huh. That's the question. That's the point. One but, point. I will do for my Ishtadev and I will view 
their pastime. Mm -hmm. To live in my Sarupavis. Why Raghunath Das Goswami is crying? When he is in Sadhak Avesh, he cries for Sarupavish. He is not feeling separation from Radhika because she is the Ishtadev of Raghunath Das Goswami. Only when he is not in his Sarupavish, for that he is crying. Not that she is missing Radhika or what. In Sadak Deha also he is in meditation of Radhika. He never leave Radhaku. He never leave the shelter of Radhaku. So Isadev is fixed. Only the problem when he comes in Sadak Deha, then he cry. When he is, he is not in the past time. That is the crying of our Raghunath Das Kusan. So this is the prayojan to live in my Sarupavish. First we are thinking Ishtadev fixing. Ishtadev is fixed and unfixed. Sarup is not fixing. So this is marginal because we can live in Sarupavish, we can live in our Sadhakavish. So Raghunath Das Goswami teaching, Anantas Babaji teaching, that we have to practice in Sadek, Sadek Aves also, how to enter in Sarup Aves. So Sarup Aves is more important in our life and it can or not possible to come without Eastern Nistha. <clears throat> so Krishna himself teaching that he want to take the goal in his life of Radhika. So he become Manjari here. Krishna become Manjari. In Chaitanya, we can see that when we have a Chaitanya, means always consciousness, we can see this. And Krishna wants to be Manjari, second thing. Chaitanya is one area, circle of consciousness. When we are conscious, we can visualize this Leela. Mm. 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 So, for our par, uh, lineage of Chaitanya, this is the meaning of our line. When we realize this, that Chaitanya is the foundation and the way for that, Chaitanya fixed for Rupa Raghunath. This is the traditional Rupa Raghunath, what they are practicing is a traditional way. Rupa is a teacher, so he has to teach many directions. But Raghunath is his real student, he is practicing how to do it. The conclusion from his teaching. Teaching. If you want to see any guru, you want to know see his disciple, then you will conclude what he is teaching. Simple. Hmm. Disciple can say more clear than Guru what he is teaching and how much he realized. You see, my Gurudev, he is not talking anything. He is sitting and doing bhajan, but you sit near to him you realize everything. What is your question? You will getting answer without talking. He teach me only one thing, that Antaranga Sakti become Vahiranga Sakti. Other thing I realize by sitting near to him. And I, still I am realizing what I am telling about Chaitanya, 
he noticed that time. So you see, now I realize, and after some time I realize, what is meaning of Antaranga Sakti is Radhika. And what is Bhairanga Sakti on his creation? What is the creation is created by Nityananda, and Balram? And Balram is the Bhairanga Sakti, brother of Krishna and sister of Radhika. Mm -hmm. This is Nitai. Andare Nitai, Bahare Nitai. Inside also Nitai, but outside also Nitai. And when this vision not come, it's not divine vision. And this vision gives us very great opening to see what is Gaura. So why they say Nitai Gaur? Because Nitai give me the vision to see Gaura. Any question? The Guru is the proof of your words, Gurudev. Guru, when Nityananda. I feel very ashamed. I am not a Guru. My Guru is always with me. So he yeah. is the Guru of all of you. <clears throat> guru is, is my Gurudev who teach me. He is the Guru of all my family. I always recommend not keep my picture, keep my Gurudev picture. Why? Because he is teaching to me now and he will teach you. When he is silently chanting, he is still is chanting and he will teach also to all of you. I am still his student. So still I am learning. So how I can be a guru? Impossible. I don't interested in to become guru. I want to be his student. But we can see Nityananda everywhere there, no? That Nitai is everywhere. In the Skorn book, there is Nityananda, and there is one is Andare Nitai, Bahare Nitai. All the direction Nitai is there. Mm. In material thing is Nitai, in the table, chair, all the things is Nitai, and living is non living, all is Nitai. And what Nita is doing for the service of Gaura. This is yeah. Gaura. And Gaura means Radha and Krishna, not others. There is no Chandravadi, there is no other thing. Only the associate of Radhika and this associate is Gopi also and Sakhi also. But not uh, the Chandravari group, another group we will never see in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Because Krishna is covered with Radhika's color. What is Radhika meaning? never speak about Chantavali. Never. Why she will cover? She is covered. Krishna is covered with Radhika. There is no other other thing than Radhika. Gold is Radhika. Mood is Radhika means the gold is Radhika. Gold is Radhika. Mood is Radhika and covered with Radhika. So there is no way to escape out from Radhika to Krishna. When I will Chaitanya, I can feel it. 
my consciousness will be chaitanya i will see chaitanya this is chaitanya means divine vision all the family who is against to you he is also chaitanya he is also also is helping us how much i am tolerant i how much i maintain the tolerance mm-hmm. if i am not tolerant then i am not a dasi i am a controller mm-hmm. you want to be controller the follower of controller is want to control but follower of radhika they want to be dasi the circumstances dasi hmm anything is happening in our life is controlled by my ishta dev so i am the dasi means i have to accept everything Mm-hmm. Why to reject or uh, uh, deny? Uh, no warm water, not very hot water. Mm-hmm. Huh? Okay, no problem. You know, you understand? Kriya mm-hmm. or any question, ask. I can answer because Guru Dev is inspired me. Oh. It's a time to us. Mm. I'm also listening, like you. This is uh, in the beginning of the verses. I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radha. Because, And, because we cannot do more than that. Yeah. We, if I do more than that, then I am not a dasi. Only I have to remember the food dust, only the lotus feet, only the the lotus feet, charan and chhatra. Guru Dev give me charan and chhatra. I ask Guru Dev, if I am doing charan seva, how I can do the Amrana Seva protection is Amrana Seva. He said, "Dear of Seva is A to Z. All Seva, your Seva. You have to be. <laughs> I don't know anything, but when I want to serve, all details I collect and serve, and I I learn with that." So this is his Guru Dev Masi that he gave me the vision how to do it. So any material small thing, I never did take any decision myself because Dasi cannot take decision. If I want to do in Sadak Deha, I have to practice from Sadak Deha. Then see that they have will come. Okay. Understand? Mm. Is there? At a one day, see that they have will not appear. Which circumstances see that they have will come? Then my material, all the circumstances, it favorable for my ishtadev. Only meditating in the dust of Radhika, no other desire. Ah, I cannot see you, but I can feel your dust. Mm-hmm. Wow! Well. I have no vision, divine vision, to see you. But I can relish your dust. Mm-hmm. 
and I want to keep my mind in the lotus feet of your dust. Mm. And even so, to meditate on this dust is so beautiful. Means meditation of dust means meditation of any material circumstances near to me is what happening is mercy. Favorable for me or not favorable for me. That is no meaning for me if I meditate in dust. Right? Mm, yeah. Dust is that what is touched with, from my Radhika's lotus feet. That is that is the gift. He gave me this dust to accept it. Maybe this is muddy dust. This is maybe dry dust. Maybe this is cow dung. She walked on cow dung and this dust could come to me. Any dust from her lotus feet, I have to see this is the rain for me. This is the mercy. Very powerful. Every person we meet, every situation we come in, all dust of so many. Yes, that's the beauty. <laughs> that is sadhak deha sadhana. Where I can find this type of thing without Chaitanya? I never see in other place. Gopi bhav, you no need siddha deha. You need only soul consciousness to live always in soul. But Siddha Deha, Radha Dasi is the highest meditation. Prabhupada said ten ten. Highest. Prabhupada has to believe. Prabhupada says Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. By devotional practice, what is the meaning of devotion? When I have no Sarup, constitutional position, what type of devotion is mine? One lady served to his husband, that is conjugal love. One daughter served to his father, is a paternal love. It's a service, make you to take form of that father. Father, what is father? Is a form. I see like a father. I see like my daughter. Is a form. Jesus see like father to to God. God has to be father of teachers. That is love. That is love. And he's the, ah, and his constitutional position is fixed like a son. Then he can see father. That is sad. Why not we see like a Jesus? Because we have no constitutional position fixed. And that is most important after a student. He's not looking before. Why? Because we don't need constitutional position. We know this importance of my identification, who I am. And without devotion, how this will come? But this is, has to be pure and divine relation. Mm. And when we are in material world, our circumstances, we have to serve like a dasi, selfless love, selfless mm. love. No, we exchange no business. That is dasi bhav. Yeah. Little difficult, but when we realize in my sadhak deha, and when it comes to Siddha Deha, 
that person is a divine person. He never dies. His material body change. His material body can die, but that's so he become divine because they are in the always in the past time of his today. Where the is today is there, they stay there. That is the beauty of Mahaprabhu teaching. Impossible. Mm. Impossible. Impossible. Never happen and never will happen again. Mm. Mm. Wow. So, Raguna is crying because he feels how much Radhika needs him and he that, is not there to do that, seva. That is the service. When he drink the... for two minutes, this uh, yogurt, buttermilk, that time he feel to cry. Why he come out from that? Yeah. He to go pee and car, he cry for that. Yeah. He have to come to use his material body. That is the crying of Raghunath. He, how can we, his all sadhak deha become siddha of Raghunath? Hmm. Anyone can live in one one part of the yoga buttermilk whole day, but Raghunath's body becomes Siddha, so he can do that. Mm. Sadak they have become Siddha. Chatrahi. Narayana say, Seva Sadak Rupi. Sadak Rup, Deha has to be in always service. And when my Siddha Rup coming, that is a big umbrella. I am in the big umbrella of my Siddha. Right? Mm. One thing more, Gurudev. Yes. I was meditating on the seva of the Manjari, and there is seva is not only uh, to bring Radha Mohan together but also to separate them after Leela. They need their help also for this time of the separation. So they are so close that after Leela, they like one, they in the Leela, they become one. Even their hairs are connected and they like one, and to separate them, they need Manjari. Yeah. Yeah. Also in the identification, because in that Leela, they lose their identification. Right. So they, they need help from outside <clears throat> to come in the separation. Right. So they... They are uh, servants of both, of the meeting and of the separation right. of the divine couple. So yes. Manjaris are most important in the Leela. I think the importance of my Isidev also depend upon the our Manjari, Sarup, our Sadhana. When I am not fixed, 
my dev will not come to me my swarup is fixed i am always with my dev swarup is more important to see the dev Mm. Yes, and when the sarup is there, his dev is there. My sarup is there. Guru dev is there. Mm. The divine connection. Why Guru Manjari? Without Guru Manjari, there is no one step I can move. He cannot. I cannot see Rupa and Raghunath. This is my Guru Manjari is with me because of my Sarup, and my Isdev is always with me because of my Sarup. And Raghunath Das is crying when he not in his Sarup. This is his crying. That is his greed, always to be in his Sarup. He don't want to forget for moment his saru. She is never out with his dev because she knows my saru will fix me. Right or not? Mm. Siddhanta Prabhu. Very nicely, very clearly explained. So before we attain, before we attain this siddha, deha, what is what should be our prime activity? What should be our duty? What should be our service? How to attain this? What can you give us some instruction, practical instruction? All this instruction is in the why we read these books. Is all his instruction evidently for us? <laughs> what is the instruction of the realized soul? One moment is not a philosophy that we remember the sloka mm -hmm. and we remember. It's not that. It's a practice. It's a practice. How, what I am doing and what I am missing, I have to improve that practice. That is, these two books we read only for this to develop my practice. Mm -hmm. uh, and today we start with this. I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radhika. But so this is a, one thing. This has to be keep in mind. Hold it. Mm. This is the this is the teaching of of Siddhartha. You know, read again, more read, more read. After that, I will show you. I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radhika. Go on. Who was unlimited power? Instantly subdues even the supreme person. You see, this is Adilila for Canto. Here you can see that that how Adilila for Canto is moving. And in this verse, Sripad is in his Tadakavesh. You see, in Sadak ways, like us, like we, yeah. And that meditation has to be important. That we need your dust, and I can see second line read. Who himself cannot be easy seen, even by the greatest devotees like Lord Brahma. Lord Shiva, Chukamuni, Narad Muni, and Bhishma. 
only they can see who has a manjari sarup. <laughs> Simple. Even the Krishna do this. <laughs> I don't believe this. Krishna is doing like this. I believe yeah. it will be giving to Siddha there. Believe. He's a Rasika Vani. Prabhupada Vani. He's a Rasika Vani. He concludes from this Rasika. Nishta, Nishta. This is Nishta, Nishta. I'm in Sadak way is practicing this. Why? And others not take it. You will get it from your Siddha Deha. Go on, read more. As long as I'm not in Siddha Deha, I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radhika. What? What is that? Read all line, yeah. I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radhika, whose unlimited power instantly subdues even the Supreme Person, that you means see. Sri Krishna. You have to so, see what is the Shastra. Shastra means if you have a reading before, then you will see Adidila for Kento, and this is very similar. <laughs> Doubt will not come. Sadhu, mm. Shastra, Guru, Vakya. Mm. Sadhu, what telling? Is Shastra is telling. And Guru, Vak is also same telling. Why doubting? That to practice, to get the Siddha Deha. <laughs> And the foot dust of Sri Radhika is always subdues the unlimited power of the Supreme Person. And even this Supreme Person is uh, not easy seen by the greatest, even by the greatest devotees. Yes. What to speak about Govinda? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the Supreme God Personality of Godhead is, is hard to see, even by the greatest devotees. What yeah. to speak about Govinda? Because yes. of this, I constantly remember the foot dust of Shiradika. Then I can see, oh, even Govinda. <laughs> Because he's Radhika's Govinda, na? Yeah. How I can see without her mercy? No. Never. Okay, I can see, but I will never relate. I have I have a difficulty to meditate for that. Easy to forget. Mm. But I have a relation, and through that relation, when I see something, then I never want to forget that. So, Guru Dev, for the, the constantly remembering, can we say this is the Ishta Nishta? That is the point. How is Nishta will come? When I'm not, I have many things is disturbing my mind. Mind will. I have to brush out because this is the ego created minds working like that. That to brush out from the dust of Radhika. Then there is clean Cheto Darpanam Marjan. We have to clean our Chita because Chita is covered with very many layers of dust. Mm. My wrong conception, like a controller, and I want to be followed that way. 
then controller, then please say you are sinner. Then I start looking to the person like a sinner and I'm a controller. Great. Can I share one thing? Uh -huh. Can I share one thing? Yeah. Um, I feel that the the foot dust. Shida. Jai Shida Day. Jai Guru Day. Um, I feel that the foot dust of Sri Radhika is. Mandri Bao is is this dasi mood because who is the only one who's able to get close enough to attain her foot dust in the previous verse we spoke about these great personalities lord brahma lord shiva and others that weren't able to attain her foot dust they weren't able to come into this dasi vow even even she's it's, even it's difficult for the supreme personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, to do so. Only in the form of Mahaprabhu can he do it. And here, um, we are being guided, just as Guru Dev was explaining in the steps to the Leela pastimes, is through. Um, constantly remembering <clears throat> the foot dust of Sri Radhika. So by always thinking about ourself in this dasi vow, in this mood of a servant, no. Mm -hmm. So, Mahatma Ji, uh, the way the way to see the way I think, you know, I'm feeling like we are seeing this uh, Sri Parasim Sadakavish, yeah, external consciousness as male devotee, mm -hmm. external mm -hmm. consciousness male devotee. So, yeah, yeah. I think that this. This idea of remembering the foot dust is is that this is available to everyone. The foot dust is the lowest is the lowest point, right? The, the the feet and the dust of the feet are 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 spread everywhere. So that uh, if we remember this, this is like an entry point for me. Like to 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 never forget this. This is the easiest thing to do. Just always remember the foot dust. Just be in a really humble position bow down to her and just accept her foot dust. And this is her supreme mercy. And then this gets us started. This gets us, um, it keeps us fixed. Yeah. And then eventually when we get into our, you know, at some point we, we reach this, this Sita Deha, then we're engaging in the, in the intimate service that you're referring to. We're only in the Kunj and exclusively to Radharani. This is at least my understanding. I don't know if, if I'm off track here, but. No, no. I think that's that's beautiful. I, for me, I guess I was also feeling remembering the foot dust in our in our sadaka vesh and practicing this this dasi vow um, in our sadaka vesh here by serving in a loving mood to all that come in front of us. Hmm. Actually, Radhika's foot dust is the A to Z. This is the all. What is Radhika's foot dust when we meditate on this? What is it? It is that what is coming from her lotus feet. And this is her mercy. Jai. And this is the mercy of Mahabhav. And Jai. it not uh, even if we are in in Sadakavish or on, in Siddhasvaru, we always need this foot dust under all circumstances. This is the highest. Her foot dust we need to get her mercy. You see, Raghunathas, 
he was even in Tzadakavish and he was in Siddhaswarup and always meditating on this futas that he get the mercy of Sri Radhika. This is Mahabhav. Radhika is Mahabhav. She is Mahabhav. And we get this Mahabhav by her futas. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is her mercy always coming from her feet. So but this is the highest uh, uh, thing one can get. You see how Krishna behaved. Mm -hmm. he, he, he took the, the foot dust mm -hmm. of Sri Radhika on his head and his peacock feather fell down. Mm -hmm. So this is the highest. Even for the Govinda, who is even more than the Supreme Person of Godhead. Mm -hmm. This Futas makes him the highest, mm. even higher than this Krishna with the peacock feather. So the Futas of Radhika, this is the highest. But we can, sure, we, we start to remember this. What is the Futas? This meaning remembering. What is the meaning? of footdust of Radhika. This is the most merciful thing one one can get. Even Govinda is trying to get this. Actually, this is a meditation that I am living in your food dust. Lagnatas Goswami with the Siddha Siddha Purush, he is living in this meditation. So Anandas Babaji is writing, this desire is Krishna also want. So you see Adirila for Ganto, Prabhupada is writing that he become object and Krishna becomes subject. And again, you see that this meditation makes us alive to feel mercy in all circumstances. Yeah, and uh, just if we go back to the last verse yesterday we were reading, um, Krishna tells uh, Uddhava in Srimad Bhagavatam, says, I always follow my devotees to sanctify myself with their foot dust. But before that, Krishna always desires the dust of Radhika's lotus feet. So again, it's, it's, if it's emphasis. Parkya Bhav, dear brother, this is Parkya Bhav. Krishna is always desiring the foot dust of his devotee. We think like that, his devotee, but indirectly he is talking about the devotee of Radhika. But she is the devotee and Krishna wants to be devotee of her. Krishna say as a controller, my devotee, when he said this, he cannot openly say the name of Radhika, so he say my devotee. But only he meditate in Radhika. But here he say, you not understand my devotee. Now I open and say that he is my object, I am his subject. This is Chaitanya, Audhari Amarchi. Yeah. I many time his devotee, but you not understand what is I'm telling. But now I openly standing in Manjari Bhav, in, in, in Chaitanya Sarup, that Radhika is my object, I'm, I'm in subject. And I want to meditate always Radhika, so I want my Sarubhavis. Mm -hmm. What is foreigner? What is foreigner for her, uh, for Krishna? He never do this, he wants to do that. Mm -hmm. 
for Krishna is a controller. To become Dasi and Mandiri, this was the foreign subject for it. It's a new subject you want to do. To come in this position to relish the himself, his, his pastime with Radhika. Because he wants to release Radhika's love for himself. So he wants to view it from her Manjari Saru to what Radhika is loving to Krishna. One time, one, at the same time, Krishna is Manjari here and Krishna is playing as a lover there. Krishna can do this. And as a Manjari, Krishna is relishing Radhika's love because without viewing, he cannot understand because his ecstasy becomes so high in loving exchange that he cannot recognize anything. He forget, he forget himself. So he wants to view himself. So Krishna as a Manjari, he is viewing lover and beloved. He is mm. viewing. Mm. I want to give such out this subject, but I openly say now, he is viewing himself. <laughs> He himself viewing as a manjiri to the divine couple. He becomes divine couple. Conjugal love he too. And he one is a manjiri. In a manjiri form he is watching that. What he cannot do in Krishna and Radhika's in between that time. He has no idea about that. He is a foreigner for him. He is foreigner for this subject. He never knows that he can view it. And without viewing, he cannot realize it. He, he tried to realize this as a Krishna, as a lover, he cannot. No. When he, he wants to view it, he feel it. Because he has not become ecstasy. Hmm. One he try tries many times, Gurudev. No? He tries many times to do service. But he is, his hands are shivering. He yeah. cannot do. He is Krishna himself. He is looking. He, 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 as a lover, he is severing his hand. He cannot make, decorate the breast of Radhika. He cannot decorate the face of Radhika. He cannot decorate the altar of Radhika. He takes and kissing and embracing and he forgets. And Krishna is looking as a mystery. Hey, what am I doing? Crazy thing. Why not I do the service? But this Manjari Krishna, is doing service also. <laughs> this is Krishna, <laughs> Chaitanya Rita. Really, I am telling you, this is the science of Chaitanya. Is all Krishna and Radhika is there. And the Manjari is also Krishna. He is not Raghunath Das Goswami. He himself relish it. And then, yeah. Chaitanya give this to Rupa and Raguna that this line is the traditional line and this is my line. But now the many modern lines happen. They follow that. They think only to know Krishna, they will know Chaitanya. <laughs> Yeah. Without becoming Manjari, it's impossible 
to realize Shatan. No, no possible. With, without mercy of Manjari, Krishna himself, Manjari, to realize Krishna and Radhika's love, what Krishna is getting. <laughs> What was what was very difficult for him, I think Krishna. And all depends on Sri Radhika's foot dust. Because without his foot dust, Krishna will not relish her feeling, and without her foot dust, he will not relish the feeling of Manjari. I, uh, this is not Raghunath is telling. Raghunath is telling the words of Krishna, what as a Manjari he is relishing. Raghunath take this words for himself, that he is meditating like that, because this is the lineage of traditional way. If he want to be Manjari, he has to practice because this practice Krishna do and show us. Mm. This is the traditional way what he learned from Chaitanya. Teaching of Chaitanya. Ami ke. This was the question of Raghunath Asprasam. Who I am? Sanatan Chiksha. What is Amike? We say, I am a soul. But Mahaprabhu say, You are a Manjari. You are a Dasi of Radhika. And to be a Dasi, to meditate in the pastime of Radha Krishna, like Krishna do for his radishing to the mood of Radhika. How much he give love to Krishna, he want to feel it. Krishna want to know this. Read Chaitanya Chaitanya. Why Chaitanya appear? That Krishna wants to know how much he is receiving love to Radhika, why he is mad. So he cannot know as a Krishna, because he, when he see, he become ecstasy. Mm -hmm. So he wants to be a Manjari. <laughs> Krishna wants to be a Manjari. <laughs> Why is appearance? What was the reason of his appearance? <laughs> Before that, Krishna is a goal, and Radhika was subject, and he said to her, Everyone, I I take the fulfill the desire of my devotees. So how he can say that he want to fulfill the desire of Radhika? How he openly said that that was the Parkia time. He cannot say so. He said devotee, but who is the devotee of Krishna? On the Radhika. What is the meaning of Krishna consciousness? On the Radha is Krishna consciousness. I say I am a Krishna conscious, impossible. One minute I give time for my soul and my sarup, and one minute I give time for Krishna of ten minutes, a half an hour, one hour. 23 hours what I am doing. Yeah, before, because, good, if there is what you just said, first I have to ask this question, who I am? When this is clear, 
Na? Hmm. Is it clear? Is name is clear? Then, My yeah. It is clear. Because Guru Manjari is not doubtful because he is give me the wealth. But I never try to understand in 20 years I cannot. He give me the energy and reason to see that. Mm. In my spiritual constitutional position, not only to see myself, he give me to see my history. He see me the reason to realize both of them, my sarup and my history. I yesterday give mercy to realize Saru and why why this is happening. This is the science of Gurudev who teach me. This is the Vigyan he teach me. It is not only bookie knowledge. The all scripture of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in Parkyava. Me reading written is something, but meaning is something else. That is absolute truth. So number one. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Gurudev, thank you so much. We know you're not sleeping so much at night and to spend oh, the whole... I sleep to this night very good because okay. I sleep in bed today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you okay. so much. For the illuminating class, we really, really appreciate it, every word. And we consider your your words to be also like the like the foot dust of Radharani. We consider that. Thank you so much. I, I share. Maybe I don't know much, but what is my mercy to my Gurudev to me? I share with you. I don't know much because I am not a very good reader of Shastra and I have no experience of any knowledge. I am very less knowledge, you know. I don't know even a sign. You clear me when the professor gives the assignment to us and when we can read, that's the assignment. So that is also a very beautiful thing I learned that day because assignment is this what I uh, uh, subject I have to complete to go for examination. But examination is there for that assignment, what I got. So when we pass this assignment, then we go on slow but steady for more inner vigyana.